Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dane Hop Realtors. Once again, I'm at the brand new community of Mesa Western in Cibolo, Texas. And the house behind me is built by Chesmar Homes, and this is the Rockwell plan. The reason I'm videoing it is it's getting ready to close by someone else tomorrow. So this is my only chance to get the Rockwell plan on video, just in case you want to build this plan here or in another community. Let's go check it out. All right, if you're looking for a home with a little more square footage, this house definitely has it. It is 3,500 square feet, a four bedroom, four and a half bath, two story house. I mean, if you got a bunch of kiddos, you definitely want to check out this Rockwell plan. And especially, I love this, uh, the updoor loft back patio area. Can't wait to show you that to you, but I really do like this house. And like I mentioned before, they are building it in the brand new community in Garden Ridge, the Heimer community. So I'm super excited to see that one come up. That community is a half acre to three quarters acre community. This community, of course, is in Cibolo, uh, right off of Green Valley Road, across the street from uh, Cibolo Valley Elementary School. But I really do like this community, especially its proximity to Randolph Air Force Base and the schools. But man, this is a beautiful home. Let's check it out. Can't help but notice these super tall vaulted ceilings in the main living space. Front when you come in, you've got this big office area. Really nice. The tall ceilings in this home is just really cool. Tall, big tall baseboards you got there higher end luxury vinyl planks. Check out this kitchen. Uh, Chessmar does this in a few of their plans at this level with the uh, two different islands. I really like that, especially if you are uh, big and entertaining and you don't want everybody right around your cooking and food prep area. They can all hang around this island, super cool. And this is where your breakfast nook slash dining room table would be right here. But yeah, they did a really nice job on this home. The clients that have got this built are gonna have a beautiful home. And in this community, you can have gas. They bury a propane tank, so that's why you see the gas grill. They went with the undermount lighting. Let's show off the garage. This is a little mudroom space and a really good size pantry. But as you saw as we came in, this does have a big three car garage and two water heaters right there. So you're never gonna run out of water and plumb for water softener. All right, lots of great lighting in this house. And this is a good, uh, house the video because most a lot of the tours you see the model homes where they put every bell and whistle into the house this is a little more realistic uh i don't know what they paid for this house because this was these weren't my clients i'm just trying to get a rockwell videoed but yeah they went for the outdoor fireplace um and get plumb for a gas thing so if they wanted to come in build a kitchen cooktop area they could uh, in this community, I know the Shirt Symbol ISD owns this lot behind them, this whole space. So someday there might be a middle school back there because that'd be a really good spot for one. All right, let's check out. That's the master bedroom over there. I'll hit that last because it's absolutely gorgeous. But I definitely want to show off this upstairs area. I love the fact they put the powder room kind of halfway up the stairs or a quarter of the way. Uh, nice tiles here. And you notice it's kind of away from everybody else because there's some things you just don't want people to be hearing when you got a house full of people. So I always love when they put the powder room away from the main living space. <clears throat> All right, coming upstairs, you got this neat little computer spot right here. Perfect, you've got kids, you need to tell them to do their home, homework. Ooh, pardon me. But check out this space here. Lots of space. <coughs> and it kind of overlooks 
I'm not sure if what they did on this wall is an upgrade or not. I have to get with a sales rep for that one. But I do know this room was upgraded. The standard walk wall plan, this is kind of exterior wall, and this whole outside is just balcony. But they opted to get this little extra game room in here. Perfect for if you got kids who wanted to play video games and stuff like that. And still have all this space up for other activities. But I mentioned this outdoor space. Get the doors unlocked. This is because they put this room here. This is just kind of your standard uh, patio area. But without this room, this patio would extend way down there. So I've been in the other rock wall plan that was being built and that blew me away with just how big this outdoor patio space is. But you gotta realize you're gonna be out there in this upstairs patio quite a bit. You wanna make sure you're on a green space a lot or you're not just looking down at your neighbors. So pay attention to that if you're looking to get this plan built. Find a lot that you're not really just backed up to someone because then you'll be less apt to use your outdoor patio. That's why that Heimer community, I really do like it. They're just getting started and all those lots are gonna be green space lots. All right, we do have a couple bedrooms upstairs. Another nice closet for games or other things you might wanna put up there. We got two bedrooms back here. Kind of average size bedrooms. With decent sized closets. Really nice, little mini walk-in closets there. But gonna have a uh, bathroom right here. Love the fact they want a little splash of a color on the tile. Then you got your walk-in shower. Very nicely done. So this room's gonna have its own private bath and this room's gonna have to kind of come out in the hallway to have this bath. Once again, really like the tile on the floor and what they did on the shower tub combo in here. But then here's that other bedroom we were talking about. And once again, a really nice size little mini walk-in closet. All right, very cool use of space on the upstairs area. Let's head on back downstairs. And we already saw that back patio space, so let's head on to the master bedroom area. So it's on the complete opposite side of the house from everything else. Love the tall A-frame ceilings. They put plenty, plenty of can lights in there. Got the blinds already in, but yeah, lots of space in this master bedroom. Really do like this a lot. Got your French doors leading into the master bath. Once again, really super cool tiles on the floor. Big, big mirror for that vanity. Freestanding tub, love the looks of that. And another vanity right here. But yeah, check out this shower. It's big, it is beautiful, mud inset. Took the tile all the way to the top. So love that. And you can turn it on without getting that initial shock of holy crap, that water's cold. But you can turn it on and let the water warm up a little bit before you actually get into the water. Oh crap, I didn't shut this toilet. Um, but point out the space in here. The, Really nice wide walls, so you're not like banging off them as you're coming in. You can feel more relaxed, and that's a good place to be relaxed at. That's just a living closet. <clears throat> All right, the master bedroom closet. Kind of divided into two different spaces here. I love the fact that they've got multiple hanging space. I just had my closets redone in my residence, and it's really nice having two levels there big shoe rack closet and a space for longer dresses 
And then coming around, here's the other side of the closet. So it's in hers, but lots of long hanging space there. More if you, I guess this would be a long dress spot here too. But, and then you have your off season rack. So right now, because it is August 2023, that's where your sweaters and coats and stuff would go up there because they're not needed now. Here's that sneaky need that I love seeing because this door does open up to the laundry room. Very convenient to not have to carry that laundry basket all around the house. You just open up the door and Chessmar did it right. That was loud. They put a lock on it because you don't need your children's creeping around into the into your bedroom by going through the master bedroom. So it's nice to be able to lock that up. All right, and we have yet another bedroom back here that I didn't check. So we do have another open toilet seat. Yay me. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, beautiful bedroom back here. Like I said, this house has a lot of bedrooms. And this is gonna be really a nice place for like a long-term guest room because they'll have their own private bath. Kind of a little bit away from everybody. A shower tub combination. Or if you've got one of those older kids that doesn't want to be upstairs with the younger kids. So that's really nice. And then while I'll wear a back out into the main living space. Beautiful home. I do love the Rockwell plan. This is my first time seeing a completed one. So I'm glad I was able to get this on video. All right, that's gonna do it for the Rockwell plan built by Chessmar Homes. I really like this home. It's beautiful, spacious, very well laid out. Remember, 3,500 square feet, four bedrooms, lots of options for this house. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you want some more information, I'm happy to help. Uh, best way to reach me is to either text me, um, phone number's gonna be on the final slide, or click the link in the description box to schedule a Zoom meeting or phone call with me. And hopefully if you did like the video, share this video with your friends and families. All right, take care now, bye.